Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you and uh, today it's going to be a sneaky peek at uh, something which a lot of you guys have been asking about. That's the Asus Crosshair 4 Extreme. Um, yeah, loads of you have been asking about it and what I'll do is, because uh, you always moan about me spending too much time in the box, so pretty much, I don't care what you say, I'm going to go straight to the motherboard and I'll talk to you when the camera's having a look. Right then guys, down to business. I've got my camera in my hand, so some of you may have gone deaf. We all know why, the regulars. Anyway, this is the uh, Asus Crosshair 4 Extreme. And the first thing which I was quite impressed about just for my first initial impressions, is if we look over here, you can see that that's where the uh, the mount for the motherboard would go. But that means this is an EATX motherboard because we've got all that extra real estate down the side. I need to explain to you why this is a first look. The NDA isn't actually up until the 30th of September, so I can't talk to you about performance or anything like that. But I can give you a look around the motherboard and sort of talk about what's on the motherboard as long as I don't talk about what it actually performs like. Now up in the top right hand corner where I got to before I started saying that is the uh, power reset buttons and the pro bit and then we've also got the handy PCI Express switches down the right hand side. If you've got water cooling and one of your graphics card dies you can switch the lane off and then basically what that means is when you start it up you won't get the blue screen of death or it will post and you can actually work out what graphics cards died but anyway there's your uh, AM3 socket it's not AM3 plus so this won't support bulldozer you see the massive heat sink down the side and something else which I was quite let me see if I can get this on the camera you can see there's actually a fan inside there because there is a, a chip underneath that's being cooled. But anyway, most it's not just the MOSFETs on that side. There is actually a, a chip underneath it all. Now, one of the things on the Crosshair 4 Extreme, uh, I'm not sure where it is on the board yet because I've not taken the heat sinks off. There is a Lucid chip underneath there as well. Basically, what that means is you are going to be able to mix and match your cards and you'll be able to run SLI on an AMD motherboard whereas before it was exclusively Crossfire so you could have a 280 and a 5870 for example or a 480 and a 5870 you could also have two 480s, three 480s if you want and it will work thanks to the Lucid chip yeah, if you want to get a uh, closer look at the board I'll run down and then you can just pause at any time there's the light up ROG logo that we've come to know and love Spin around to the uh, sockets on the back. You see up here PS2 for your keyboard and the USBs. Got an eSATA there, USB 3. The green one there is uh, eSATA and USB. Got a BIOS clear switch, and these two here are your. Uh, ROG Connect button and the ROG Connect um, uh, USB. The vertical USB can only really be used for the uh, ROG Connect. And the onboard audio. I'm not seeing any sign on this one, quite strangely, of it being uh, anything other than normal onboard audio. Normally they have the uh, X5 or something software with it, but I'm not seeing. Normally, it covers that chip. 
I'm not seeing any sign of that and it's not being shouted about on the box either. Yeah, I'd be quite interested to see what that fan sounds like when it's running. Because normally little fans like that are quite loud, but we'll have to see it at a later date. I'll flip that round this side quickly. Dual BIOS there. Again, something we've just come to get used to with the extreme range. But that's pretty much it. So, what I'll do is stick you back on the tripod quickly now, and I'll wrap this up. Right then guys, that's your first look at the Asus Crosshair 4 Extreme. Uh, I'm actually quite looking forward to getting to play with this. Uh, yeah, to see what the uh, Lucid's like really, because it's my first personal time with hands on with a lucid board. So yeah, I'm I'm hoping for great things. But anyway, yeah, uh, it's the end of the video so we'll do the, the normal chit chatty maru and uh, that's please rate, please comment, subscribe if this is the first video of mine that you found. Um, my videos in my channel, please go and have a look at the channel. Uh, for all my other videos, also the videos in the channel, I don't have any of the ads on my channel, that's all turned off there. So it's a good reason to go there and have a look through. But yeah, this is Tiny Tom Logan with the uh, Crosshair 4 Extreme, which I will be back at the end of the month with the video for, with the full review once the NDA is lifted. Out. <laughs>